the chair just broke. Oh dear. Let's try that again. There we go. Welcome to Winchester anyway. Ever since we arrived here yesterday afternoon, it's just been like on and off showers. One minute it's sunny and really nice, and then the next minute it's raining. Although it's not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday we had like torrential rain. But while we were in town, it was quite nice. And then it started to rain, so we came back home again. And then it was sunny, and now it's raining again. But we're back at the campsite anyway. It's actually quite a nice campsite. We're staying at a place called Folly Farm. I think it's just Folly Farm campsite. I don't think it's much of a farm as such, or maybe it's like part of a farm, but it's just kind of like a camping field with a couple of facilities and yeah, it's kind of pretty basic really, but it's actually a really nice little campsite. So the campsite is kind of split into sections. You've got three main ones with electrics and then one to the left here is just like plain filled with like nothing in it. And that's mainly for like campers and stuff. But we're staying in the first one which is called Ash, and then this one's called Oak, and then the next one's called Beach, I think. There is a playground um, at the back end of this field, but I don't want to be a weirdo and start filming kids in the playground. But there is a small playground here, which is quite good. Quite peaceful, um, not too busy. Haven't really found anything negative yet, I don't think. It's just quite good, isn't it? These are the toilets. These toilets here are only open at the weekends when it's busier, I believe, and there's other toilets are open all week long. Um, I guess that kind of makes sense because you don't want people using all the toilets when they don't have to because then you have to pay someone to clean them and then it doesn't really make sense. They are quite basic um, washing facilities but they're very functional, they do the job um, and they're clean so no complaints there. And that looks like another rain cloud swiftly on its way over to Folly Farm campsite to come and soak us. So we're not having van pasta for tea today. Oh no, we're having van Noki for tea today. We're having a bit of a mashup yeah. of Turkish and Italian, and it's going to be really tasty, but maybe yeah. a bit weird. A bit of onion, <laughs> bit of courgette or zucchini, depending on where you are in the world. Um, Noki, gluten-free Noki. It's really good. If you've never had gnocchi before, you don't know what it is. It's essentially um, potato and flour. So cooked potato mixed with flour turns it into kind of like doughy balls. And then you just boil them in the pan like you would with pasta. Um, and it cooks in like a couple of minutes. It's really delicious. Um, delicious. Delicious. And it's dead easy to do. Perfect for van trips. It's like little dough balls. Mm, yeah, it's really good. Bone apple tea. You know, everywhere seems to have that place where everybody goes and walks their dogs and goes running and stuff. Well, I think St. Catherine's Hill, or this area in general, is the Winchester version of that place, God, my breath, where everybody comes to walk their dogs. found another way down the hill. It's a bit slippy though, so I'm getting a bit nervous. I'm gonna stack it and break the camera. So I think I might put it away before I do. <laughs> yeah. It's really slippy. All right, I'm gonna put the camera away. D 
Digby seems very interested in whatever is in that field over there. Don't know what it is. Whenever he's on his lead, he always like ventures over there. Must be able to smell a mouse or something. I think we've decided that we're going to go home this evening. We're just keeping an eye on the traffic because at the moment, I think it says it's gonna be around about an hour and 45 minutes. But with our traffic, it should be about an hour and 15, hour and 20. Um, so what we're thinking that we might do is we might watch a movie and then maybe leave here. What's the time now? I don't even know what the time is. It's 20 to 7. So we're thinking maybe we'll watch a movie or half a movie or something and then perhaps leave here at like 9 um, when the road should be pretty clear and then get back this evening because we're a bit worried that if we left tomorrow morning because it's a Monday, the roads might be really busy because everyone's going to work and... Um, yeah, and like I was saying yesterday, um, there's not really too much of a benefit of staying necessarily. Oh, you give me a Kit Kat. Legend. Love a Kit Kat. It's very really hard. It's hard. Yeah. Why is it hard? I'm in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> I always keep my chocolate in the freezer. I think that chocolate tastes so much better when it's like rock hard. And we had two of those um, like wafer bar things and Joss was eating my one because I ate his one, but my one was in the freezer, so it's like rock solid. But chocolate tastes so much better when it's frozen. Well, not frozen, but like rock hard. Always tastes better. You can't have like soft chocolate, just like it sticks to your teeth, it's horrible. No, it's horrible. It's gotta, be, it's gotta be rock hard out the freezer. Dark chocolate out the freezer, best thing in the world. Right. Packing up to go. We watched half of a movie, still got an hour left to go, but it's nearly half past eight and we want to get a wriggle on because otherwise we'll get back home too late. Annoyingly, it's rained a little bit, so we're going to have to put the roof back up again when we get home because we don't want the canvas of the pop top to like go mouldy or anything. It's always a little bit sad going home after holiday but I suppose at least I don't have to go back to work, which is usually the reason why you always dread going home after a holiday because you've got to go back to work. So at least I don't have to do that. Okay, I think we've got everything. Always get worried we're gonna forget the hookup lead and drive off and like rip it out of the van. So always double check that. So that's out, got the ramps for the wheels. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much ready to go. We are planning on going away on another van trip in perhaps a week or two. Nothing's like planned yet or anything. We're thinking of maybe going up kind of like the east of England a little bit and then across to Wales or something like that. We're not really too sure. Um, but yeah, for this van trip anyway, I guess it's time to call it a day. But yeah, going home. I really hope you enjoyed our van trip away. I've tried my hardest to make these videos as enjoyable as possible while still trying to enjoy the holiday and not spend hours and hours and hours editing videos in the van. If there's anything that you think that I could have done better or perhaps I didn't need to do, then just let us know in the comments below. I'm always happy to receive any kind of feedback to improve the, the experience for you guys. Um, yeah, it'd be great if you could just, just let me know any pointers or anything. But yeah, that's going to do it for this holiday anyway. If you did enjoy it, give it a massive thumbs up. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. So until then, safe drive, stay alive, have a lovely day, and see you next time. All right, bye-bye.